Today we're going to go over the last step in finishing this room, and that's doing a little bit of touch up and some clean up. Now, first of all, you're going to want to have a little bit of all of your paint, okay? The ceiling color, the wall color, and the trim paint. You're probably going to want some small brushes for doing touch up, okay? Uh, here's an inch and a half. This works quite well. If you're doing a little bit of wall touch up, actually one of these disposable foam brushes can be real handy. Then you don't need to clean it all out. You're probably going to want some blue tape if you're not happy with some of your lines between the trim and the wall. And I'll show you a way you can straighten some of those out actually quite quickly. I'm really not happy with this line here that I cut. You can see where the paint comes out onto the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of blue tape on the trim very precisely and push it down as hard as I can. Very nice. You can also just straighten the line freehand if you feel that's the best option. You don't have to use tape. That looks perfect. Now if you've got large areas on a wall that need touch up, maybe you banged it with something, you might try a weenie roller. But really you might just need to re-roll the whole wall because especially with dark colors, it can flash if you just walk up to it and go like that in the middle of the wall. You might be able to see that spot even though it's the same paint and the same color. Now you're going to want to check the ceiling. If you bumped it anywhere when you were rolling the walls, now's the time to touch that up. Now after you've done your touch up, it's time to start cleaning up, okay? And you're going to want to get all the tape and paper off anywhere it's left in the room. Uh, along underneath the baseboard, you might want to use a five-way or your putty knife to separate that edge a little bit down there. So you're just going to want to get all the tape off of everything. Now if the paint bled underneath the tape anywhere, you're going to want to take a damp rag and wrap it around the tip of your putty knife or your five-way and use that to gently clean off any paint that maybe is on the hinges or on the natural wood trim. If you get it within a couple days with a damp rag and a putty knife like that, it's actually not too hard to clean off. Okay, after you're done with all that, you're going to want to put all the switch plates back on, all the outlet covers. Uh, the fan blades need to go back on the light fixture, etc. And then you're going to want to roll up your drop claws and take them outside and shake them out. You're going to want to vacuum the entire room, and then you're pretty much ready to start moving your stuff back in. And then, of course, the very last thing you want to do is you want to clean up all your equipment and store it so that it's ready to use the next time you're ready to paint. That includes cleaning your brushes. Now, you're going to want to see my video on cleaning your brushes, of course. You can find that video on my website howtopaintahouseright.com, along with a lot of other videos and lots of helpful information that I've put together to help you paint your house right. And congratulations on that beautiful room.